My name is Kiva Allgood and I am the president and CEO of Sarcos. The mission and vision for Sarcos is simple. We're here to prevent injury and save lives. What makes the Sarcos and Palantir relationship so unique is the fact that we're really pushing that technology curve. Uh, it's the advancement that we're making in AI, machine learning, and cloud compute. And it's their tool set that allows us to be able to run those models and really understand what's happening with the robot real time. Sarcos has two different platforms. We have a, what's called XT, upper extremity robotic platform that's very uh, anthropomorphic in, in terms of motion and dexterity to um, similar to human. And then we have exoskeleton, which is a full body exoskeleton powered. So you can imagine if you use exoskeleton, you can lift 150, 200 pounds and feel like you're lifting 10, 15 pounds. The Guardian XT is the upper extremity robot with two arms and torso. The two arms are kind of anthropomorphic to human arms and can be operated in teleoperation mode um, or from the ground or from distance. Traditionally, robotics is uh, associated with a you know, factory line in which they kind of repeat the same task over and over, but that's only one task. In our case, we can actually do all of those tasks with a single robot without necessarily reprogramming. Right now, the core focus is helping Sarcos on their road to commercialization. Using Apollo, Sarcos can manage their fleet of robots at scale to be able to deploy software and updates across their fleet within moments. The second thing is Foundry Edge, uh, potentially enabling Sarcos to not only collect the data off the robots, but do it in a way that is cost effective, such that not everything has to be sent to the cloud potentially saving them terabytes of information that is probably low signal, and eventually getting the right information to the right analyst or operator. The last one is where pounds here potentially can serve as their infrastructure to deploy artificial intelligence on the, on the robots and to be able to allow or enable their engineers to iterate quickly on the, the algorithms that really make the Sarcos uh, robots unique. Uh, Foundry can contribute to many levels in, at Sarcos. Anything that interfaces with, uh, with the cloud or passes data to Foundry um, has a potential to be used as a tool to analyze the data, to project uh, time series, to understand what's happening in the robot over time. And ideally, we would like to use in kind of forensic mode, which means collect the data, pass the data to Foundry, and then do the forensic analysis to figure out what went wrong. Something like microservices we haven't been aware before, but that has a huge potential to allow us to update software and firmware remotely, which is a big capability because we don't need to send the technicians in the field to do the updates. Computing at the edge is another, another component of this because we can actually have the model stored in the foundry and then push back into the edge devices with a uh, capability to, to adapt to new, new situation, new tasks. That doesn't require connectivity. Core capabilities from foundry like branching, versioning, provenance are essentially helping accelerate the product roadmap development and helping their engineers to iterate on the algorithms that are eventually going to be deployed on the robots in the field. We want to help support Sarcos to launch their robot as a service across various industries and to as many customers as possible. Not only from the product development side, helping their product teams to deliver against their product roadmap faster, but also for the business and the business development side. We'll be able to take their compute capability and our robotic capability and really deliver a unique solution every single time we come to a different place. Whether it's a satellite or whether it's a submarine or whether it's a robot, we want to help companies like Sarcos on their road to building semi-autonomous or autonomous technology because that's the future of Industry 4.0.